An Arizona grandma and the stranger she accidentally texted in 2016 are spending their eighth Thanksgiving together this year, with one twist making this year's dinner even sweeter. In 2016, Wanda Dench sent out a text inviting her grandkids to Thanksgiving dinner, but she hadn't realized that her grandson had recently gotten a new number and now somebody else had his old number. That someone was 17-year-old Jamal Hinton, who was a little confused about getting a random Thanksgiving invite from an anonymous grandma. To clear up the confusion, Jamal and Wanda exchanged photos, confirming that they definitely did not know each other. But Jamal went ahead and asked if he could join anyways. And without hesitation, Wanda welcomed Jamal to the family gathering. Jamal gladly attended what ended up being the beginning of a new family tradition and an unbreakable friendship. Jamal now considers Wanda to be his other grandma, and the two have been there for each other through the good times and the bad times for nearly a decade, sadly, including the loss of Wanda's husband Lonnie in 2020. Now, the Thanksgiving tradition serves as a way to honor and remember Lonnie, as well as to celebrate strangers becoming family. And in the spirit of new family, Wanda and Jamal decided to open the door this year to others in the area who might not have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, renting a house and offering a seat at the table to the first few who RSVP'd, inviting others to become a part of their family too. After attending a stranger's funeral last year, a 16-year-old in Oklahoma has received quite the surprise. Last June, 68-year-old Diane Sweeney told her nephew that whenever she passed, she wanted to give away one of her most prized possessions at her funeral, her 2016 Volkswagen Beetle. She wanted the occasion to feel like a celebration and invite anyone, whether she knew them or not. Her nephew, Rick, assured her that when the time came, he would make that happen. And it was just 30 days later when he sadly received the news of her unexpected passing. Rick upheld his promise and contacted local news agencies about the raffle to help get the word out, which absolutely packed the funeral home with friends, family, and strangers. One of those strangers was 16-year-old Gabriella Bonham, who lives about 30 miles away in El Reno, Oklahoma. And while Gabriella Gabriella and her family entered the raffle, heard nothing more about it, and assumed that someone else had won. The experience on its own was more meaningful than Gabriella anticipated, as she truly felt like she got to know Diane's funny, generous, and caring spirit despite never having met her. And earlier this month, Gabriella received a phone call that she says changed her life. It had taken a little over a year to get all the documentation in order to facilitate the raffle, and Gabriella actually had won the car. Rick says that the perfect winner was drawn, a young girl starting her life as Diane's was ending. Gabriella picked up the car three days later and is now helping to carry on Diane's loving legacy. A secret multi-million dollar fortune is the last thing anyone expected this extremely modest man to leave behind, but the bigger shock was the way he decided to use the money after he passed. Jeffrey Holt, who was born in 1941, spent his last few decades as a groundskeeper at the mobile home park where he lived. The U.S. Navy veteran was well known for being easy to befriend, intellectually curious, and a little eccentric. He lived an incredibly minimalistic lifestyle, keeping his home sparsely decorated and never owning a TV, car, or a computer. His best friend, Smokey, said that he seemed to have everything he wanted, but he didn't want much. But what nobody knew is that in addition to living modestly, Jeffrey also had quite a knack for understanding market economics, which led him to save up a total of $3.8 million. It was only after he passed earlier this year that anyone learned of the fortune, at which time they also learned that he left the entire amount to his 4,000-person town of Hinsdale, New Hampshire, with the funds earmarked for education, health, recreation, and culture. Jeff's sister, Allison, says that because he lived with a learning disability, a younger Jeff had always seemed worried about disappointing his father. And because his father had been the one to teach him about managing money, she thinks that Jeff saving up a fortune despite having no interest in living lavishly may have started as a way for him to fight that insecurity. And now his extreme generosity lives on in the little town that he loved so much. I'm Jen and I post something positive every day.